Hello, this is Travis Sabin with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and I'm here today to walk you through the new landing page experience within Adobe Analytics. So when you log in, this is the new workspace landing page experience. You'll notice this is a little bit different than what we've had previously. Notably here on the left, we have these three tabs that you can click through to see different experiences. You'll land on the projects tab by default. This is where all of your workspace projects live and this is uh, the new experience that we've provided here for you so a couple of things that we've added so first of all you'll notice this hero banner across the top this provides a quick shortcut with one click to open up a project or a mobile scorecard which is fantastic i really like that we've also provided some cards here with some shortcuts to some things that might be more helpful especially for newer users so if you're not sure how to start this takes you to our training tutorial where you can learn how to use workspace and unlock its functionality or if you want to read release notes documentation this can take you there as well if you don't like this hero banner being in your face you can hide it and it collapses just like that. You can expand it again if you're interested in having it shown. You can still create a project from our typical create project button. However, the modal will no longer be there, but that is still an option to you. So opening projects down here, this is a little bit different. So we've got some more additional data that we provided here. You can customize which of these columns are shown to you by using the column manager here. You can just check off and on which ones you'd like to see. You can sort by different ones. Um, so you have some additional functionality there. So uh, also we've improved the search capabilities. So now if I'm typing in the search bar, not only am I gonna search across your titles, but I'm also gonna search across the different metadata at, uh, columns that you have here. So tags, report suites, and anything else which is super valuable, making it easier to find uh, what you might be looking for. One thing to notice here is I have these two projects on the top that do not contain the word mobile, but they remain on the page. That's because they're uh, taking advantage of this new functionality of pinning that we've introduced, which keeps a project or multiple projects, depending on how many you've pinned, always on top, no matter what you do. That way, if there's something that you, a report or a project that you open consistently, it's always there. It won't get buried um, based on how recently you opened it or whatever sort of uh, criteria you're using on the table. To pin something, you either click on the ellipsis here to pin or unpin a project, or you can check a box over here and you can do bulk pinning. Or as you notice, this action bar has a bunch of other actions as well. You can delete, tag, approve, share, rename, and so on. So lots of capability built into what you can do. This uh, takes a, um, becomes a lot of our project, project management capabilities here to make that more seamless and easier to navigate and directly manage here from the landing page. So in addition, you, we've also got this column here that now brings your favorites. Any projects you favorited will show up right here on the landing page, something that, you, that we didn't really have previously. You can sort by your favorites if you want to see that. Um, that is an option for you as well. You can sort directly here, or you can apply a favorite here to another project if you want to keep it on that favorites list. So that is something new that we've introduced. And then lastly on this page is the filtering. So now we've provided some other ways to get through this data. If you've got way too many projects, there's some other ways that you can adjust this content. So if you want to see it by specific tag, or if there's only a specific type of report suite that you want, or like I said, if I only want to see my favorites, I can do favorites, things like that. Um, I can apply those things here. Again, anything that is pinned will stay pinned. This one doesn't meet my report suite criteria, but it's staying on here because I have it pinned. If I unpin it, it'll go away. And then the other thing that's really nice, any of this filtering, sorting, column settings that I apply, they will persist and will remain my customized settings for me the next time I come. So if I leave workspace, let's say I go to the component page, and then I come back, all my filtering and column settings are applied. So I can kind of customize this landing page to be the last version that I saw. That way it's always the way that I want it whenever I come back. So that is the projects page. Um, so next let's go to reports. Now reports brings in a lot of our functionality and uh, menu structure that we had within reports and analytics. It's not exactly the same. There's not a one-to-one -one match. Not every report exists here. And we've renamed some of these initial columns here and reorganized the way some of these are structured that hopefully make a little bit more sense and make it easier to find. We've introduced this most popular section here, which based on the usage data of our customers, we've brought in our top 10 or so different 
reports that are most commonly used and accessed by customers. If you have any favorites that you have favorited since being in this new experience, this does not bring over any favorites from reports and analytics, they automatically get added here. If you do not have any favorites, so if I unfavorite this one, the favorites structure goes away. But the second I favorite something, it pops back in and it'll start building this list if I have any favorites. You can search across these just like you could before, and it'll open it up down to this last section. I can go through and I can search across different ones, um, but I can open up reports that way. So, and if I want to open a project, let's say I want to look at my most popular pages, there's a couple ways I can open it. I can double click on the name here, I can single click right here, or I can single click here. All three of those do the same thing here within the metadata or on the actual name itself. So once I open up a project or a report, uh, I, I should say, now I have what used to be a reports and analytics report. Now it's been changed so it looks like a workspace report. And so I've got a bar chart, a summary number, and a table all pre-built. I don't have to do anything with a little bit of context here as well as a link to open a video. If someone needs to learn more about how to use Workspace, they've got that shortcut right there. And so they can get in and see a Workspace version of that report right away, which is really handy and helps get those users who previously might have been using reports and analytics more acclimated to analysis Workspace. Another nice thing is if I want to go back to where I was, we've added this back button, which makes it really handy just to get right back to where I previously was. Instantly, I'm back on the menu, clicking where I was, and I can go back from there if I didn't click on exactly what I wanted. So that is reports. Additionally, the templates that used to live in the pop-up modal when you would click on Create Project are also embedded within here. So any of those templates that you previously used, they've been their naming is the same, but they've been recategorized here under some of these subfolders. So I know, for example, mobile, we had a bunch of mobile templates here. Those are now reports and they live here in the report section. So you can find all of those here uh, under the reports area. And then this last tab is all about learning. So as part of our research, when we were putting this together, we found that a lot of users had a hard time getting up to speed on workspace and didn't have a lot of content directly in the tool to help them get started. So we've introduced this learning section to help with that. So it has three different kind of categories of topics. So things for getting started. So if you're just starting out, you want to help find insights better, you want to know how to understand your data better, or if you just want to see everything all together, we have these different groupings. So, and in here, each of these uh, have a bunch of videos. This first one has an actual tour. So if you launch tour, it will open up a workspace project and start walking you through a little tool tip uh, or series of tool tips that click around the workspace interface to show you uh, the various aspects and fundamental components of analysis workspace. So that's a tour. Uh, the rest of these are all videos. So if I click on one, I get a little pop-up here. I can play the video. And then I can watch it directly here on the interface, which is fantastic. After I've done that, I can just close if I want to. If I want to, I can learn more by clicking here to go to the documentation page to learn more. Or now that I've learned how to use a training tutorial template, I can just open it directly by clicking on this and opening that project. So we've tried to make as many shortcuts handy to make it that much easier to find what you're looking for. After you've watched something, you'll get a little viewed tag here, which helps you keep track of the things that you've done. So if you're trying to treat this kind of as a course material, after you click on something and, you, and you've opened the modal here, you get a little viewed tag applied to it, which again, makes it easier to keep track of the things that you have and have not watched. If you've exhausted all the resources here and you wanna learn more, we have links out to a couple other places. So this will take you to the Adobe Analytics YouTube channel with a ton more videos that we didn't include here. Or here at the bottom, we have a link to the Experience League, which will take you to the Adobe Analytics Experience League homepage for again, a lot more content to learn more about the tool and how to get started. So um, this is the new experience. Uh, we hope that uh, a lot of the things that we've done to make this a little bit easier to navigate, to find your projects and get around will make it that much easier for you to be more successful in your tool, in your analysis. And thank you so much.